Key West, and in this video I'd like to demonstrate the brand new arrow selection tools provided by 1CNC XR3. Now before we do this, let's take a look at an earlier version of 1CNC, which is XR2. I've got exactly the same shape here. We're going to head up to the top of the screen and use the Select Chain tool. I'm going to take my cursor and left click. Now as soon as I do that, I get an arrow that's attached to my cursor. I've got to move my cursor all the way to the left or all the way to the right to set up the direction. Once I get the direction set, I can left click and then select the end of my geometry. Alright, now let's take a look at how XR3 has vastly improved on this. We're going to head back to XR3. We're going to use exactly the same tool. We're going to come over here now and select the very beginning of our geometry. And as soon as I left click, I instantly get feedback. I only have to move my cursor just a little bit to set the proper direction up. I'm going to left click, left click, and we're finished. This form of selection is much safer and quicker than earlier versions of 1CNC. This really becomes apparent when you start to apply tool paths. Let me demonstrate this. I'm going to deselect the geometry. We'll head up to our NC manager. And from our lathe tool paths, we're going to use the turn face finishing operation. We'll click OK. Let's zoom in on this. And I'm going to select the chamfer. Now note that I can not only select the direction, but now I can also safely select the side that I'm machining on. This by far is a lot safer and a lot quicker than previous methods for selecting geometry. I'm going to select the outside, select the very end, right click, and now it's just a matter of finishing up by filling out the rest of the dialog box. So 1CNC definitely provides a safer and a faster method for selecting your geometry by incorporating the brand new arrow selection tools. Thank you very much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.